Take nine. What is going on, everybody? It's Colin here. Welcome to NASCAR Heat Tour. Believe it or not, this is my ninth take to get to the first three laps of this race because the AI does not know how to race on a short track. But green flag is out, starting from the back of the pack. Already shoved up by Deegan. We tapped the wall. I don't think we got any damage, hopefully. That's my hope. But let's see what we can do here. Just racing slow and steady to get through and finish the race. Hit the apron. That's my own fault. Actually, not the game's fault. If you hit the apron like that, you will get loose. Maybe we'll just let the cars fan out for a lap or two. I qualified 20th in the Xfinity Series and actually got a pretty good start place and we won the race. But uh, this one's been a little more difficult. I have not had much of any luck with this race so far as far as finishing, getting through, nothing. It's another one of those races where I sit here annoyed at the AI the whole race and complain about how you can't race. Home. So that's how this race is going to go because after nine takes, it kind of got annoying to the point I'm sitting here like really annoyed at the game but I'm just running the race because I try to do these for every NASCAR race so that was my own fault once again I just slid up and hit the wall hello Cabre I've never seen you on the on TV you have the same number as Kevin Harvick which confuses me side by side with Cabre anyways down the back stretch well not the back, back stretch cross the start finish line coming up on Brennan gone here trying to make something work with him maybe we can get a pass through here Pushing this car hard. Just gonna have to race rough. They're gonna race me rough. I might as well race them rough. Am I right? Whoa. Good move by him there. He got me loose and kept me from getting far ahead of him. Obviously, I took it on the. What the hell? Car is loose. The car should not be this loose. I didn't have any of these issues in qualifying. I mean, qualifying didn't go well either, but. Damn. That guy just keeps screwing my day up. Yeah, I'm gonna. Wow, I tried putting him into the wall. He just did the best crossover move. Good job, Gilliland. I give you, like, an applause for that, because that was pretty good. But that's my payback, because I put you into the wall for messing with my day. Man, this is not a competitive car. Getting out of the top 30 has been very difficult today. I'm hoping that we get an opportunity to pit with this car, potentially, or something. Maybe we will, because that would definitely help, because some adjustments need to be made. I don't know what needs to be made for an adjustment. Like, I almost feel like I need to adjust the wedge down lower, but I also feel like I don't, because my car is loose, but at the same time, I can't take the turns at the same speed they are. Mostly because they run the same line I do, but I have a slightly different approach, so I take the slightly different approach, they exploit it, and they take the line they want, and I can't get a good line at all. Just like what happened there. He was a bit, had the ability to get down low to get out of that turn with more speed than I did, but hopefully I can use this one and get back ahead of Gone. Nah, not any luck there. Not having any luck passing him. Bristol's not necessarily one of my hot tracks, but I, I am kind of ashamed of how bad this race is going. Blaney's not having a good day either, though, and he typically does, so Bristol's, you know, not everyone's best track. It's kind of a pain. Just the amount of cars and the amount of space there is, it's very difficult to run it clean and not get wrecked and things like that. Especially with the mons with the uh Jesus, especially with the seven oh four games AI, which is a monstrosity really sometimes. Only at short tracks. They're really good at other tracks, but they are a monstrosity at some of the tracks for sure, and this is one of them. But we are up to 30th now with four laps that go in the stage. So we do if we keep up this momentum hypothetically we can get up to 20th place or so by the end of stage two and there is still a potential for a top 10 finish this race but you never know we'll have to see how it goes i don't know the leader is 10 seconds ahead of us and running faster laps than us we are not running lap times as good as him that's for sure he was tearing away from us so winning this race but this setup is not looking too good although we did just make up some time on him there just ran a lap faster than him actually I think about the same right there so we're riding the same lap as the leader but we still can't get up front because of the AI sluice off the turn all right that was an accident slide it back up on the track try not to mess up anyone successful Ooh, I wish you guys could have seen the steering wheel on that turn I was all over the analog stick on this remote we, I got us down on the apron a little bit and got loose, but I tried to do it strategically just to carry a little more speed. Going to try to get by Matt Tift here. 29th place finish for stage one. Up 11 spots of 15 laps. Pretty slow. Um, kind of disappointing that we had that bad of a start, but uh, see what we can get done here. There is 50 laps remaining. We have 54 laps of fuel. That means there will be no pit stops in this race which is uh, potentially a bad thing because I was kind of hoping we would 
So I was going to adjust my wedge settings, but let's see what we can do here. Green flag is about to come out in stage two, starting from the inside line, just where I like starting. Even though I messed up all my shifts there to not get the launch I needed. We'll see what we can get done here. Ooh, I gave Reagan a shove by accident there. Not on purpose. When I first switch to cockpit view from the other view, I'll sometimes mess up my depth perception. As the cockpit in this game is a little bit difficult to judge where you are. Oh, Jesus, I got loose. The, the, uh, I don't even understand how that worked. I don't know if the game's engine glitched out, but I was holding like, my left analog stick and I shot right. Not sure how that, how did that get you look loose, wit? Come on, dude. Oh, this has just been a bad start to a stage. 11 laps to go in stage 2. I'm gonna try to get by Bushy here. We have to try something different here. We're just getting run over and abused by the AI this this stage. Not making up much of any track position. I mean, we are having a better finish. If we keep up the exact line we're, uh, we were doing, we will have a better finish than we did start, which is good. I've qualified the pole and finished 30th before, which is maybe worse. But when you start 40th and you spend the whole day in the back, it's kind of like, damn, this is just not our day. And we're running Danica-like uh, positions right now on the race, so that's not good. But nine laps to go in stage two. Maybe we'll get up to a top 20. That's where I'm hoping to get into. There's only six positions to make up, but it's iffy if we'll get to it. I just dive-bombed into Newman, but he caused us some issues last race, so that's okay. Got into McDowell a little bit there, nudged him trying to get him loose, some sort of a side draft thing, even though we're kind of going too slow. Whoa! We're going a little too slow for the side draft to really work as it should, but that's okay. Coming up on McMurray here. A little nick on the wall, just tried to push it harder than I could. I can't run the lap times these guys are running. I don't know what the default setup is doing in this game. The default setup for Bristol will get you 40th place and keep you there. This is not the default setup. I kept mostly the default setup and I adjusted a couple settings just quickly because I was like, oh, it's a default setup. It's supposed to be good to race. No, it's not. It's completely terrible. Now, I do run the 105 speed rating, which is like, you know, it's supposed to be really difficult, but some races it's like, why can I win every race? But I come to Bristol, I run lap times with the leader, the caution comes out, and I, uh, I can't catch up to him and win. It's kind of like weird. It's... I, it confuses me. I'm always a little bit like, why Why can't I catch up to these guys? But it's okay. Caution came out anyways. We're about to go green again. It's pretty much going to be kind of like a green-white checkered for stage two. Let's see what kind of positions we can make up here. Restarts are my specialty. Made up a couple right there, then and there. Pretty much up into the top 20 now, I think. We're at least butting heads if it was Stenhouse. Up in the Almendinger. Pushing this car as hard as I can here. Just trying to make some last second passes one lap to go in the stage if we can make a three wide pass potentially over here maybe a dive bomb to Kozlowski, nudge on Kane, something can happen here nudging Darrell Wallace Jr. up in the 14th nothing's gonna happen, into the wall we go a 14th place finish, I think a caution came out for the stage because I caused a bunch of issues we definitely shot up the shot our way up there though, which is great um, we got 34 laps of, few, of uh, race left with 45 laps of fuel, so we are set no matter how many cautions we get in the end. The race should eventually just end before we uh, run out of fuel. So green flag is out for stage 3. Now let's see what we can get done here after a very slow start this race. And I wasn't really in a good mood about it, but we've made our way back up to the front. Now we just see if I can stick us up there, up here and keep us from, you know, wrecking or something. But it ain't looking good because we just nearly wrecked. I just had to ride the apron down, which led to us running really slow, so I didn't spin out when I hopped back on the track. Austin Dillon here, who uh, spun someone out to win Daytona, we'll keep that in mind. With him, making sure he doesn't wipe us out to get in front of us. I think they might, I really think they have some physics with, like, aerodynamics as far as you can, like, lift air off the spoiler and make someone get loose. Because he got near my bumper, I got the vibration in my remote, and then my car, like, got very loose so maybe that's a real thing in this game I know it's a real thing in real life obviously but I don't know if they simulate it in the game or not just made a dive bomb pass and a clean pass I should add too on Bowman there trying to catch up to Boyer we got 28 laps to go in this stage what a long third stage um well that's actually, actually it's not too too long it probably takes like five ten minutes um this is short laps I'm trying my best to catch up to Harvick here 
This car is not really holding together too amazingly. Kane is very far up the track for uh, himself in that third world race car. It's not actually a third world race car, but the way it runs, it's like a third world country compared to America. So I'm surprised he's up so far in the race. Creeping up on Eric Jones. Casey Kane making the pass on. I was going to try battling with him about it, but I might just let him take it. Although we're going to keep battling side by side here. It might last a little while too. Let's see what we can get done here. Into his bumper. He's a little loose. I can't keep up with their speed. I keep up with their speed and I'm into that wall. My place where I make my progress is in the turns. On entering the turn, I should say. Ooh, I hope you guys could hear the remote there. I was, I had my hands full around that turn. Okay, there we go. Cool. A little quiet now, focusing deeply here. We're losing progress ever so slowly. The leader's running faster than us, and uh, we're not having much of any luck catching Kozlowski or anyone, so that's a little something interesting. Maybe, I think we have enough space between us and the guys behind us to maybe start running some different kind of laps. Let's see if this new line will work very light on the throttle in here now full throttle use that apron to help us get around it's not helping too much but maybe it's doing something they just got me into the wall so it's only that good we got Jamie McMurray catching up to us now that was a better lap that caught us up to the leader we're keeping the leader about the same amount of distance away from us but so is everyone else so it's not like a huge accomplishment up until then. McMurray might be going around. McMurray's around. Caution will come out. He played He played the hard game and we didn't take it. <clears throat> so how many laps are we going to have to go here? We're starting from 13th. Which is kind of good because it has a starting of the inside line. And let's see what we can get done here. This is an important restart here. Our ability to get up as close to up front as we can is very important. We're going to shove hard and push as hard as we can here and try to shoot our way up front. Try to make as many passes as humanly possible. Kyle Larson leading this race. He's been good in the last two races in the video game. Wow. That happened again. Caution came out for that, really. And I'm starting 10th. Oh, we're screwed. That's not good news. That caution was for me, I think, too, just for nicking that wall, but it wasn't a hard lick. It was more so like, I I don't know. I wouldn't call a caution for it. They wouldn't call a caution for it in real life, because what's the worst? You might get a tire rub and have to pit. So if you blow a tire afterwards, sure, call a caution. But outside of that, there's probably no need to call one, because your car is probably fine. Diving in here as hard as I can. Kane all the way up to six. Good for him. I just screwed Suarez over with my rear bumper. And there's a caution out. That one's not for me. I didn't even tap a wall. That was for Suarez. Seventh place. Lots of cautions happening right now. This is a pretty caution-free race until now. But this is probably our best chance at winning this race is these cautions. So green flag is out once again stage three. There is nine laps to go at the line. Working with Johnson here. He actually just got penalized. I just read. Whoa! the fuck just happened? I got in the Harvick and Harvick hit the wall and a little physics issue with the game we pinged. Like our car just shot way away. Pinging doesn't happen in real life. Things crumble. Alright, time to see what we can do here. We, we might take first place. Temporarily. We'll lose it in the end. Six laps to go at Bristol. This might be another worst to first finish but not very realistically. I probably should have been out of the race by now and a bunch of other things, but oh well. Whoa! Into the wall we go. Last, near the end of the race crash there. Not good news for us. That's debatable. What should we do? There's five laps remaining. At the end of this, there's probably three or two laps remaining. Two laps when we hit the line. Almost a green light checkered. Depending how well we can hold on to it. This is Bristol, where you can run off a broken car, so... Just gotta try our best here. To hold this car together. Try to get a top 10 finish with the... Pretty much a race-ending crash for us there. 
I'm just gonna push this car in as hard as I can, get it everywhere it can need to be a caution is out, bad caution. I am pushing this car so hard. I'm pretty much wrecking everyone. This is how NASCAR, this is in real life, this is how NASCAR really wants their finishes to be, is to have a bunch of crashes in the end like this. But the thing is with a bunch of crashes is like, it kind of makes things boring when you have to wait for the caution to be over. So it's best on like the last laps. Two laps to go at Bristol. Hold him, him back here. This car is incredibly damaged, I should add. Like, it's not running as well as it probably should be, but I'm just trying my best to keep a top five finish here into the wall. Might try some sort of a dive bomb move on Logano or something. I don't know. Hit the wall again. Never mind. Didn't work at all. Here it is. Final turn at Bristol. Let's see what we can get done here. Final dive bomb into the wall. We couldn't make anything happen. A top five finish is not bad at Bristol after starting 40th. What a crazy race. Um, a lot of crashes, a lot of stuff I didn't really want to have happen happened. A 105 speed rating, of course. Um, just couldn't get the car up front. I don't know what the deal was. It just. I mean, we got it up front, but not through legitimate ways. I kind of just started having fun because I was getting wrecked so much by the AI. I just started racing dirty back. But um, hope you guys did enjoy that episode. Please sure to drop a like below. Subscribe. Click the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Next week's races will be better because there will be at tracks I know how to run. Bristol has never gone well for me in this game, so it is what it is. But a top five finish. Can't complain. See you guys in the next episode. Adios.